فاطر السماوات والارض جعل لكم من انفسكم ازواجا ومن الانعام ازواجا يذراكم فيه ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير السلام عليكم اعوز بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we are embarking on a very interesting and important series about human beings and their relationship with themselves and with the creator of the universe but before we go to that topic let's handle another issue that often becomes a, a heated controversial issue there is a passage in the bible the sentence a verse that says that man has been created in the image of god or god created man in his own image and we find a few ahadith also explaining that man has been created in the image of god or god has created man in the image of god it's a very interesting uh, sentence or the idea and the idea is that god has an image and that image is reflected in human being now when we read the quran we do not find that kind of explanation and that kind of understanding quran very clearly says allah samad that he is unique so there is nothing like unto him laysa kamislihi shay'an there is nothing like unto him So when there is nothing like unto him then how can we say that he has created human beings in his image but when we say that god has an image and the man is the reflection of that image or a manifestation of that image that does not make any sense god is different than human beings human beings are the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you are saying god has an image then why then then blame the polytheists who say that we have found that image and we have carved that image in the stones or we have carved that image in our mind and all those things so i think this needs to be understood because once we understand that man is not created in the image of god rather he is the creation of god then probably things would become much more simpler and easier for us to understand aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum